overheat. Really quick, I just wanted to talk about this thing. You know? So I read this. Let me see if I can cop a squat. Really quick, though. Peace, gods. Peace to the gods. Uh... Shit, put the right ones in the comment then. If those are the wrong emojis, then give me the right ones. Shit, what's the what's the proper emojis? Tu me entiendo? Pero nah, yo quería abrir un live. I just wanted to build with the gods really quick, right? So, it's a damn shame how we've been lied to. It's a goddamn shame how we've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. Run a monk, goddamn it. We've been had. Y'all know this shit. Y'all know this shit. We have been had, my. That's just an organic factory. It's like most of the foods is not even food. We we should know this. Like most of the foods is chemicals disguised as food, yo. Some some bullshit. You dig? Most of these foods, right? Not only are they gen genetically modified with microscopic organisms that's going to tear your genetics up, right? Not only that, but they have been created in a laboratory. They're gene spliced. They're not even real. Most of them don't even bear seeds. It's like, what the fuck? When you see a watermelon without a seed, you better tell yourself that ain't no goddamn watermelon. That's some chemicals disguised as a watermelon. When you see a seedless grape, what the hell? You got to ask yourself, what the hell? You gotta ask yourself, like, what is this? Que lo que esa cotorra? A seed should have grapes. When the universe made it, it came perfect already. The universe don't make no mistakes. When the universe created it, it was created perfect for you. Eat the fruit, plant the seed. Eat the fruit, plant the seed. If man made it, you should probably stay away from that shit. It was created in a laboratory. They put all kind of shit in it so they could monitor, so they could study you. Like you're a lab rat. You know? Like you're a white mouse in a lab. Tu me entiendes? Shit is crazy. When the universe bundled and packaged that little bundle of life, of love, it was already perfect. You could consume everything, the stem as well. And when you give back that energy to the earth, it's going to come back tenfold. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's a perfect design by the universe. But man, man want to temple with that, huh? Man want to temple with you. Look at nature. Nature need man or man need nature? Think about that. You think them trees need you for that carbon monoxide? Or do you think you need them trees for that oxygen? Ask yourself. Huh? You think them trees going to survive without you? Now ask yourself, are you going to survive without them trees now? Hazte esa pregunta and keep it 100 with yourself. You can't lie to me, you can lie to you. That ain't food, dog. That is not food. It's chemicals. And it's not, it's not a chemical that's helping you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That shit is destroying you from the inside out. Slowly but surely, patience is a virtue. Slowly but surely, that shit gonna destroy you. So, listen to this. You think being vegan, right? Because I've been there. You think being vegan is good enough? Hell nah. Being vegan is just what you should be doing anyway. You don't get a doggy biscuit, no slap on the back, slap on the ass, none of that. Being vegan is okay. It's what you, that's just a human diet. No blood in animals, no pus. Like, you never seen a cow order a steak. So, because you don't eat meat, doesn't, you don't get no points for that. No, not at all. And you don't get no points for looking down on people that do eat meat. They don't have the level of consciousness that you have. 
So now when you vegan, right, that's when you start to realize how extreme you must be in this world of, that's just backwards, inside out. It's crazy. You know? I had a kale salad. That shit is making me dance in the sun. I'm like, hey, you heard me? Now, a kale salad the size of Texas, right? The size of Texas or California, whichever. That kale salad would nourish, would nourish your cells. It'll feed you on a cellular level. And dig this, right? When you preparing the kale salad, guess what? You just ate. Because as you smelling the herbs and the spices that you add into the kale salad, as you chopping the ingredients, as you massaging the leaves, chopping and all of that, you're, in, you're interacting with that kale, right? You're becoming one with it before you even consume it. Now that's what real food does. It feeds you on a cellular level, which is why the, even, the, even the feeling of being satisfied as far as your appetite is concerned is completely different. You can eat a whole pizza pie from Ray's Pizza, from the Dollar Slice store, right? And two, two hours later, you want a whole nother pie. But you eat a kale salad. And that's not the itis. The kale salad ain't gonna give you the itis. The kale salad gonna put you on your ass in a good way. It's gonna make you appreciate that kale. It's gonna make you fall in love with a goddamn salad. You're like, goddamn, I never knew I could fall in love with a salad, goddamn it. So, when you become a vegan, right? When this is your lifestyle, you start to realize how extreme you have to be in this world. You dig? It's not about not eating animals, that's just a step. But then you realize most of this food is not really food. It's just because it's not animal products, it's disguised as food. And they put that little tag on it, um, organic, or they put that tag on it, um, vegan. And you think, oh, fuck it, it's cool. Tofu ain't gonna hurt me. Tofu ain't gonna hurt you. You can't plant tofu. It ain't shit gonna grow out of that. It ain't gonna hurt you. You dig? When someone passes gas, right? Or, 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 or they use the restroom when they giving back energy around you and it stinks and it's disturbing the smell imagine what's going on on the inside because that's just the outside <laughs> you know they whole shit is straight cemetery you dig the refrigerator is a casket nigga real shit though no funny the refrigerator is a casket if you gotta keep something in the fridge, you probably shouldn't be eating it. Now that's just a hundred. That's just facts. There's no fridge. Hey, look, I don't see not one refrigerator. When fruit grows, it's when you consume fruit straight off the tree, it's still warm from the sun, from them light codes. It's still feeling, it's still vibrating at the frequency of the universe. But then you wanna all, Cause it has a longer shelf life and it's too much work to have to go to the market every single day huh that's not even a market what you're going to that's a super market most of them aisles are straight death you heard me so your refrigerator is truly a casket that you put your life in as it dies i guess it prolongs death it don't prolong life so when you consume fruit from the earth it could be at the temperature of the earth. Dig. Your body's like just as warm as the sun inside. It's, it's, it's warm. It's, it's allowing you, it's helping you to digest this food. It's allowing you to make this food into a different form of energy for you to give back. It's allowing you to digest this, but it's giving you life at the same time. When you consume life, you feel like life. You just want to give life. You just want to live life and be happy. So, your, ref your kitchen is truly your, med your medical system. Your kitchen, believe it or not. You heard? So, I guess the best way to go about it is if you Google and study agriculture industrial agriculture not just agriculture because they can grow stuff that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean uh it's healthy for you they growing it because it makes sense to their uh industry it makes sense agriculturally for them to profit off because you're going to consume it like boo, 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 ba, ba, ba. 
You heard? But when you begin to study what these foods actually are and how they created, they're not created by the earth. They're not, they wasn't created by the universe. If it wasn't here when the universe was created, then it's not for you. Cause you've been, there was never a time when man was not. You've always been here and you always had food. You heard me? And genetically you are designed to eat the fruit of life from the trees. You're not an Eskimo. You don't live in the igloo on the ice. What you need blood for? Even they have mutated to need the blood cause they mutations, if you understand where I'm coming with this. But that's a whole nother story and it's deeper. Deep as the abyss. It goes so deep. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're not an Eskimo. You don't need flesh and blood to feel satisfied. You a vampire when you think about it. Like, blah, 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 I'm come to suck your blood. Like, what is you? What are you? Who raised you? You know what I'm saying? But it's not, I'm not looking down upon you because I was vibrating at that level of consciousness as well. But understand what that does to your blood. You just had a meal and you, you're, not, you're not even full. You're hungry because what you're eating is not nourishing you. It's not truthfully food. It's not doing what food is meant to do, which is sustain and revitalize those cells and give you life. When you eat death, what, 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 what life you getting from death, demon? What life? We have to begin to eat life and speak life. Live a humble and meek life. We got to really wake up. And just because, it, like I said, this shit, I was studying agriculture, industrial agriculture, and I was just like dumbfounded by the fact that most of these foods is not even food. Like that shit hurt me. Like, damn, they just lie to the public. And it's not like they lying to you. They just admit the truth. So if they could get you to believe it, they ain't wrong. <laughs> Who told you to eat that? You know what I mean? Who told you? You know, that's how they gonna look at it. But I'm here to tell you that's some bullshit. If you study industrial agriculture, you gonna be like, <gasps> your whole shopping list is gonna change. If you about growth, if you about change, if you truthfully being honest with self, you heard, cause you can lie to me, but you can't lie to you. Yourselves, they, they, you're God to them. You're God to themselves. So you can lie to them and say shit, it tastes good, but they suffering. So why don't you allow them and help them to regenerate so you could be brand new, brand spanking new. And a lot of people live in ignorance, right? They don't have the information that you have. So you need to apply this information and be a little extreme because this world is extreme. This world is completely backwards, inside out, upside down. It's non-cypher, God. This world is non-cypher, God. So we got to get back in that rotation to be cosmically aligned, to become God again, you know? I was reading this book, right? And it talks about the chimpanzee diet, right? And I get it. We're not chimpanzees. I get it. I get it. See, 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 see. But a chimpanzee eats mostly greens. And again, we have been lied to. We think, we think the chimpanzees strictly eat bananas. Basura, bro, that's bullshit. They eat mostly green vegetation, leaves, chlorophyll. That's what they eat. That's what they eat. They eat a little insects, but most of their diet consists of straight dark greens. Dark vegetation. They eat fruit. They eat insects. But the, the insects is so it's a, such a small percentage of their diet. That it's insignificant. But you're not a chimpanzee. What I'm saying is, the chimpanzee closely resembles the human being genetically. Right? So, we have to get back to our green diet. When we used to eat from the jungles. When we used to eat from the earth only. And not these hybridized foods. That's really not food, but it's chemicals disguised as food. And I get it. Some of us, we want to feel full. You want to feel full. You have been programmed to feel full. Fuck you need to feel full for. All you need to do is nourish yourselves. And that's the best feeling in the world because you know what you done did. Like I said before, you have a nice kale salad. Whew. You can feel the life it gives you. You feel revitalized. You feel full on a cellular level. Tu me entiendes lo que te estoy diciendo? Sin cotorra. So if it has a seed and it comes from the earth, then clearly 
you should be eating that. You put it back in the earth, it should give you some more, tenfold. But if it comes from a laboratory, from Dexter's laboratory, it's like, why are you eating that? Because it's affordable, because it's convenient for you and your situation? Bullshit! Basura, bro. Fuck that. Fuck all that. We got to eat life again. That's why we walk around like zombies. You heard? Because what we eat in the straight chemicals is not even food. It's just not food, bro. So fuck that. Yeah, you got to be extreme in this world of ghouls and goblins. In this world of bullshit. You got to be a little extreme. You got to say, no, 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 no. I'm not eating that. And educate people on why they shouldn't. Do the best you can with what you got. Keep going. Keep going. Do the best you can with what you got. Don't eat that. It don't come from the earth. It don't have a seed. I don't want it. I don't need it. It ain't going to help me. You know, allow yourself to be a true human, to reach that God status. Be aligned with the universal forces. And stop eating non-cypher, God. Stop speaking non-cypher, God. Stop indulging in activities that are non-cypher, God. Everything is a spiral. 360 degrees completes the cypher. We have to get back in tune with that cypher. We have to get back in tune with being what a true human is. Facts. Absolutamente. Tu me entiendes? If you're a human being, there's no reason. Listen, like I said before, you're not an Eskimo. You're not in the igloo. You don't need blood to sustain anything. You don't need blood. You made a 70% water. You need water. And what better water is there than mineral water straight from the earth, nicely packaged? Like, that's life. You eat in life. But... The way this world runs is they, they hijack this life and they sell it to you. That's why you got to keep it in your refrigerator as a casket so the shit don't die on you. But truthfully, the only reason you want to keep it in the refrigerator is to extend not the, life, not the lifespan, but the death span. You want to prolong death. So with that being said, it's like this. You, we, should be cons we should be picking what we consume. You don't consume a whole shopping grocery list of food. So there's no reason why you should be even purchasing that. It's called mono eating. I know that sounds extreme, right? Yeah. Get with the program. Be a little extreme. This life is extreme. The, the, the wool, the veil that has been pulled over our eyes as a people, as a civilization, throughout history is extreme. Fuck is you talking to me about extreme? Talking about eating from the earth is extreme. Bullshit. Eating whatever is not animal products is extreme. That tofu going to tear you apart. I grew up on rice and beans. I had enough of that. Too many in there. I had enough of that. Can I get some fruit? Can I get some, can I get some water? Can I get some fruit? Give me some limes. Give me some key limes with the seeds. I'll eat them like an orange. Who, me? I'll eat them like an orange. I ain't worried about that. It's not, we think we're going to starve because we're, cons we're completely consumed with food. And that's not even food. We're consumed with the idea of it. No. Get what you need. Sloth, gluttony is a deadly sin. And guess what? Somebody like myself, I'm a Taurus. I'm very fixed. I'm an earth sign. I love the pleasures of this earth plane. So I love to eat. So this is coming from me, nigga. Slow that shit down and study industrial agriculture and find out and realize that most of that shit ain't even food. That shit has been created for you. But when you eat fruits and veggies that come from the earth that have a seed, the darker the seed, the more melanated it is, the better for you. When you start to eat that, you feel good. You think good. You want to live good. You're creating a life that is good. G-O-D. Because you God. So don't, don't allow somebody to reduce you down to a person when you a human being. Which is God in human form in this, in this limited avatar. So take advantage of the fact that you God on this plane. And live like God. Eat like God. You can't even have a... 
You can't even have the proper relationship with what you consume and put inside of your body. How the fuck you gonna have a a a, a, a proper relationship or a conducive one, one that flows like energy supposed to, with the rest of the existence, with the world that appears to be outside of you, if you can't even get in tune with what you put inside of you, if you can't even have that under control, how you expect to control your life, how you expect your life to look like you want it to look. It's called discipline, it's called dedication, it's called determination. Google those. We gotta wake up and we gotta wake each other up. It's not about uh, uh, looking down on anyone, yo. Fuck that. I've been there, done that. I'm telling you, you don't have to do that. They don't know what you know. So just continue. Be persistent. Continue to tell them the truth. Scream at the top of your lungs if you have to. Like, you heard me? Put that down. Don't, don't. Ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? Use what you have to get through to people. Do the best you can with what you have. Where you at? Fuck it. But we got to help each other. These farmers, they only want to profit, yo. They own the land. They own the motherfucking seeds. You can't, you can't own what the universe provides for you. You just running yourself in circles. Tigre tapa, el tigre tapa sigri. Este tigre tapa sigri. You dig? <laughs> they bugging. They bugging. And they don't understand that they hurt them themselves because they don't they haven't reached the consciousness of Christ. They haven't reached the level of 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 awareness that they can identify with every living thing on the face of this earth. And they can realize that what they do to others it comes back to them like a boomerang. Boomerang. It's a boomerang. Everything you put out, every thought, all the energy inside of you, it comes out. It extends as far as it can, and it comes right back to you. This visual spectrum, right, it shows you what you are. So become better. We have to do better. You dig? Like, this This, this really sparked me to talk about this, only because most of us think being vegan is good. It's like good enough. Hell no, that's where, the, that's where the journey begins. That's where the journey starts. That's when you start to realize, not only is meat and blood and stuff like that not food for my genetics, but it is also not food for your genetics, but that's when you get down into a, into a historical level, when you start to dig deep and find out. You realize that that's not for anyone, but because of mutations and migrations and, you know, a, 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 a cataclysmic, events that have taken place in history that has been necessary i get it but right now it's not necessary bro bro it's not necessary bro they growing that shit in the lab dog if they doing that shit to the chicken what you what, what, what else you think they doing that to you don't need it huh exactly you are the food being uh manufactured inside of a lab that's why they feed it to you so they can control you robot robotic Ro, 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 robot your boat, nigga. They controlling us through these foods that have been hybridized. They know what they doing. So you got to be a level ahead of your oppressor. You got to be a step ahead. You got to give yourself that edge to be like, yo, pff, you ain't fucking with my genetics because I'm not even going to consume that, period. You dig? It's deeper than being vegan. You could eat paint. You could drink paint. There's probably no animal products in paint. That shit don't mean it's good for you. Yes, Akotorra. Hell to the no. That shit ain't good for you. Clearly. You won't eat paint, but you will eat some tofu. Hell no. Listen, there's so many. Listen, listen, listen. This is the information age. If you want to, I don't even miss meat, but I understand that it's a transition for those who want to be vegan and they, 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 you know, they feel like they want to have a, I don't know, a rib, a chicken strip, a burger or some shit. There's so many recipes on Google, on YouTube, that you could replicate any type of food that is not good for you in a healthy way. It just takes time. It just takes effort. It just takes a little bit of discipline, dedication, determination. Coge, coge tu tiempo. Ponte la pila. Palante como el elefante. Do the right thing like Spike Lee. You know what's funny? It's not supposed to be easy, because if it was easy, then it would not be challenging, then it would not be worth your while, then it would not 
be something that you've gained anything from. No knowledge, no experience, nada. But the fact that it's difficult to actually try to be a human being in a world full of people, persons, it's like, oh shit. See, because me, my definition of a human being is someone who's completely in line with the universal forces and allows them to work through themselves, you dig? But a person is just... But a human being is like grounded. No shirt, titties out, let's get it. That's a, hu that's a human being. Tu me entiendes? But honey, we can't even do this on the property because then they're gonna be like indecent exposure or some fuck shit. But my but my nipples could be out. You know? My shit's pretty sexy too. No, that's serious though. That's how you know this shit backwards. And if you really study it on a deeper level, that all that does, all that is, is an energy vortex. It's a portal to sustain life. Look at that. You heard me? I seen this post on YouTube, right? And it was this cow looking at these, at this woman breastfeeding, and the cow was like, hmm, that's peculiar. So they do have milk too. Why the fuck they been taking our milk? It was like, it was like, they make their own milk, what the fuck? That's like they didn't even, cause why would you take my milk if you make your own? You heard me? I know why. I wish I could talk to that cow now. It's for profit, homie. That's all it's about. They know that cow that cow milk cannot possibly be good for a human being. Like it can't. They don't just milk them unwillingly, they rape them. They sexually Facts. Them with artificial Say that again. Say that again. So yeah. They artificially inseminate them, they rape them, they, pregnant, they pr impregnate them on purpose just so they could produce the milk and produce the milk and produce the milk and produce the milk and more cows and produce the milk and more cows and more cows and produce the milk. And when they can no longer sustain that lifestyle, they just kill it for meat because they're like, we're not letting this meat go to waste. And what's funny is that that meat that, they come, that comes from a cow route, right, it turns brown quickly. Like it's an organic, well, it's not really a natural animal but i'm saying it's just flesh right so that flesh is gonna turn dark that flesh is gonna start rotting but then they pump it full of air make it look nice and juicy and bloody for the vampires to consume it and they tricking us even then it's like that's not fresh meat it just looks fresh what do you think fresh meat looks like very bloody huh so they're gonna make it look very bloody you're not a tiger you're not a lion you're not a bear you don't need that shit you know and it's fucked up what they do to them cows. Fuck your health, right? For one second, don't even think about how healthy it could be for you, right? But have compassion. Understand that you God walking on this plane, right? And when you realize that, you see that what's being done to these cows is wrong. Not only is it bad for the planet, it's wrong to do that to a living being. It's a sentient being. It exists. It has a soul just like you. You heard me? So what, 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 what gives them the right? I know what it is. It's the lack of... Of, of, of urgency within the people people just want it quick fast and easy people don't want to work for what they for what they uh, 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 consume for what they feel like they've earned for what they feel like they want to um accumulate they don't want to work for it so it's like ain't nobody gonna go up to a cow and slaughter it and go through the whole process they'd rather just buy a piece of meat you see but you you and you you really don't want to go up to a tree and pick your own fruit or plant your own garden you don't even want to do that you know, this is why they, they do it for you. But why you think they doing it for you? Just just out of out of the kindness of their heart? Absolutely not. They doing it for you because that is a mean of population control. They want to control the masses. For what though? For their agenda. And what is their agenda? To take over this world. To have every single every single corner of this earth on their grid, in their system, so they can document and keep all this information in their databases to do what with it? To control. Uh, uh, civilizations upon civilizations and, and future generations. For what though? You gotta ask yourself, for what? They already been through those trillionaires, quadrillionaires. What do you need all of that? Just so they could run, run rapid and do whatever the hell they want on this earth. But when you go to, you start to realize, yo, this is where we belong. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing out of place in nature. Ain't nothing out of place in nature. Everything is where it's supposed to be, by design, how it's supposed to be. These motherfuckers done dried up the rivers. They they want they just want to tamper with what's natural. 
And then even the water, it's like it's deep. It goes so deep. The rabbit hole is deep. So you must be just as extreme, as relentless. You must be as focused, as determined as your oppressor. He don't. He ain't letting up. He ain't forgiving you. He ain't trying to hear that. You need to be the same. You need to be like, fuck out of here. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We got to be free like that bird. Look at that mountain. It's like, shit. Why y'all got to tamper with nature? Why? Because that's the only thing that's real. Everything else is just fabricated bullshit. It's fake. That's why they want to tamper with nature, take over nature. They want to they wanna force their will upon what's already been designed by you, God, by the universe. So take your motherfucking power back and walk up on this earth plane like you know what you are. You know you, you know you God body. You know you God in human form. So why don't you take your power back? Huh? Because it takes effort. Because it's not easy. It shouldn't be easy. Fuck that. We got to wake each other up. Make a post. Make make a video. Make a, 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 a caption. Do something every day and help. We need you. Our family needs you. The civilization, the family called humanity needs you. There's no separate. It's all bullshit. You've been lied to. Everything you do affects everything on this earth. So do the right thing. Create the world that you want to see. Exactly. True freedom. True freedom. We should be self-sustainable by now. We should be completely free. But when you when you go all over this earth, you realize that people live in ignorance. And the, the richest people are the poorest, and the poorest are the richest. Shit crazy. People with all the bread... They piss poor morally. They ain't got no morals. They ain't gonna do shit to help humanity. And then the poor people, right? They sitting on the real wealth, which is natural resources. That's the real riches. Life is rich. You think you poor? You alive, ain't you, nigga? You rich, nigga. And you have your health. You have the opportunity to take advantage of everything in front of you and do the right thing with it. You heard? What's realer than doing the right thing? I need to know. Because niggas be talking about how real they is. N listen, no blanket, son. It's a cold world, no blanket, son. Niggas who be rapping how real they are. You just told not to be the fakest ones. Like, come on. What's realer than doing the right thing, nigga? Because you able to do the wrong thing. So go ahead and do it and join the cattle. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely time to get out of America. Definitely. Freedom. But don't get it twisted. Like, this ain't for everybody. America definitely is under the baker's thumb. They have completely taken everything in America they have control over. Facts, right? But some people feel like they could do work in America. You know what I'm going to tell you? I don't care where you at, what you doing, do the right thing. Connect back to the earth. Feel that earth. F connect back to the, to the vibration of the cosmic energies that move through you. Those forces are what you come from, the primordial waters. You are that, and it is you. Connect back to that, no matter where you at. And it's a process. You might not be able to leave right this second. And someone who is, you should not be waiting on nobody. You shouldn't be hesitating. Bounce. But what I'm saying is, look, look how they treat the agricultural industry. They completely take advantage of it. They don't do the right thing with their power. So you have to do the right thing with your power, even if you're not as powerful as what you perceive as the government. When truthfully, they only have the power that you allocate to them. You the one that's giving them the power. You just got to. You got to wing yourself off of their system. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Stack your little bread. Get your little income tax check. Say, fuck that. And only support things that you agree with. Like, fuck watching Love and Hip Hop if you're not all about drama. Like, it's only so much uh, divine information you're going to get from them. All that shit going to teach you is how ignorant we can be. And how you throw money at us and we'll, we'll quiet down. We'll be like, all right, yes, boss. What you want us to do to that? That's all they're showing you. And most of these 
stars or they're not even stars because they're not cosmically aligned so i don't even like that word stars they're not stars but most of these people that have um the masses mind that fame they know this information and they can't do shit about it because they've already made their bed they've already de they've already decided to side with the evil forces for what for the same thing the agriculture industry does it for profit how you profiting Exactly. Everything is a distraction. That's real facts. Everything. I'm trying to I'm trying to build with the gods, you know what I'm saying? And we got the, these motorcycles and like nigga, that shit ain't natural, homie. Get a horse and don't ride the horse. Don't even ride the horse cuz that's unnatural. It's crazy. Like everything is a distraction. Being a true human is the biggest challenge you'll ever face in your life. That's facts. Yeah, I want a mango too. That's facts. I'm about to have a mango. God damn it. A natural mango grown from the earth with a big ass seed in it that I'm giving back to the earth. Now, if you see a mango without a seed, then god damn, you, about to, <laughs> you might as well do some fuck shit because that's some fuck shit. You know, they got watermelon. They got seedless watermelons. This shit is totally unfair. You know, it's just not right. The food is really what our people lose. Lost food and TV. Our people lost exactly the food has a lot to do with it because it's like you know how they design them drive throughs and shit like that you could go you could go drive through mcdonald's real quick because you you know you had a rough day you don't want to be late to work 